first, unfortunately, is it's an unexpected result. You know, the child's born and suddenly the arm is not working. And for many of them, it's actually what we would call flail, but it's just resting against the side without movement. And that can be very distressing for the families. The good news is, fortunately, the majority, maybe 60 to 70 percent, over the course of the next several weeks will have recovery of those nerves and those muscles, and those children will grow up to be perfectly normal. So the, the first part is, is to understand that things may change in a positive way over the first month. The second part is, is that people need to start on a therapy program relatively early so that things don't get tight and don't become a problem that could lead to this joint dislocation later. So most people will have their child seen by their primary care physician and have a physical therapy referral in the first four to six weeks of life to work on that. Ultimately, if there's no signs of muscle recovery in the first four to six weeks, they should see a specialist. They should seek consultation so someone can sort out for them. Are you unfortunately somebody who's going to need to have nerve surgery for your child? Or actually, is everything going to go along well? And for us here, we usually see that people who can geographically come on a monthly basis in the first six months to monitor the progress, have our therapist work with their therapist and work with the parents to be certain that child doesn't develop problems with their shoulder or other joints that later are harder to solve.